Hello everyone, I'm Ramon. Welcome back to Ramon at Home. I'm so excited you're here today because I'm gonna show you how to create this beautiful summer hula hoop wreath and it's done so easy. Remember when we did the spring version of this, I told you we recycled this hula hoop ring and today is the first time and we're doing this summer wreath. So it is super easy to make. It literally just takes a few blooms, a few stems of greenery and a few zip ties and you too can create this beautiful summer wreath. So if you wanna see how this is done, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like the video and share with your friends. Leave me a comment down below as to what you like to see next here at Ramona Home. And if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing for future decorating and DIY ideas like this. All right, you guys, let's get started. All right, you guys, our materials we're gonna need for this wreath are two of these stems of greenery we find at our local craft store. We're gonna use a variety of roses. In this case, it's cabbage roses. And like I mentioned before, I want them to match my centerpiece and my bedside arrangement, and I want it to be all cohesive. Therefore, I'm gonna need two of these hydrangeas right here and two of the viburnum that you, uh, we use in the centerpiece. If you guys haven't seen that centerpiece, I'm gonna link it up right now so you can check it out. It's a really beautiful long and low centerpiece. And then for our tools, we're gonna need some wire cutters to cut these um, uh, zip ties. Sorry, it, the word escaped me for a second. And then also we're gonna use the hula hoop ring. So I'm gonna remove this by burning them. I'm gonna put them right here in the box since they're the ones that take the most space and I'll get back to them in a second. But this is going to be the easiest wreath you guys will ever, ever do. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zip tie this guy. Let me see, I want, it, I want this to be the bottom. So I'm gonna zip tie this guy right here. So just by grabbing one of these zip ties, I'm going to secure it. And as I mentioned, this is going to be pearl, the easiest wreath you'll ever made because literally you all you need is a few zip ties and a few flowers. Then I'm going to go ahead and meet the other um, stem right here. So that's what it's gonna look like. And you just wanna make sure that you attach these zip ties where you know that the stem is going to be secure. In this case, it's going to be right here. As you guys can see, if I lift it up, it'll stay where it needs to be. Then I'm going to cut the excess of those two zip ties, just because you wanna go ahead and cut as you go. That way you don't have to go back and cut all of those uh, stems later. All right, so, so so far we have the base of our wreath. It looks like that, super easy. Then the next thing I'm going to do, I'm gonna put the wreath to the side for one second. We'll bring it back when we need it. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to do the same with this viburnum stems and I wanna go ahead and make a swag. So I'm gonna insert them like this back to back and then I'm going to insert a hydrangea going down right about here and then I'm gonna insert a hydrangea going up right about here and I want them to meet right here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm gonna insert one of these rows pink peonies and I'm gonna put it right here and then I'm gonna insert yet another one right about here you guys. So this is creating a swag and you all, all you wanna do is insert one up and one down so they can meet in the middle like so. All right, so far we have this pretty swag and then I'm gonna insert one of these peach roses and I'm going to hold right here. Then I'm going to go ahead and add one of these zip ties to secure all of this right here in the middle. And that by just pressing this is going to stay all together. Once you have it all placed together, you can go back and give this a little fluff. You can rearrange the flowers, um, bend them so they can show. All right, so now what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and bring one to the top right here. And what I wanna do is I'm gonna go ahead and secure with a zip tie as well, right here. Super easy, you guys. This is the easiest wreath, and it's gonna look so cute on a door, inside your house, outside on the patio and the porch. So I'm gonna secure this guy right here with a zip tie. I don't want it to be so tight because I want them to show, and then what you wanna do is go ahead and cut the excess. And because I put one right here, then I need to put one right about here. So I'm gonna go ahead and add one of these peachy ones right here. 
Now, right now, I'm just making the swag, and then we're going to go back and putting this into the wreath and securing it with more of the zip ties. And the good thing about the zip ties is because you can reuse all of this material. All you have to do is cut them free, and you'll be able to reuse all of this flowers. All right, so I have some of these flowers left. I have three left. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go put this pretty swag. As you guys can see, it's really beautiful. We're going to put this swag into the uh, hula hoop wreath. I'm going to bring it back right here. Then I'm going to place this on the top. And look at this, you guys. How easy is this? Thumbs up if you like the zip tie idea and leave me a comment down below if you want to see more videos. Now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go ahead and secure all the way in the back and then just push like that. Then I'm going to go ahead and cut all of the excess of the zip ties like so. This wreath is literally done in minutes, you guys. All right, so I'm going to flip it around. Then what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and add some of these flowers. And I'm just going to go ahead and find a place where I can stick those like so. I'm going to put one right here. I'm going to put one right here. And just remember that you have to do up and down. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to add this one right here. And with another zip tie, I'm just going to make sure that all of these stems are secure. All right. So I'm going to grab one of these zip ties and I'm going to go ahead and make sure that all of those stems are going through this one last zip tie, which will be our last one. And secure all of the stems. And then we're going to flap real quick. Oh my gosh, I just love the sound of those zip ties, you guys. I love the sound. So far, so good. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and attach up here on the top. Right here with this viburnum to make sure that the wind doesn't knock it down. And then I'm going to do one in the bottom. And this is, you guys, probably my favorite wreath that I've ever made. Because it was so simple to make. Basically, you just put greenery on the bottom of the wreath. And you make a little swag with beautiful, beautiful flowers. And I love the color combination as well. These greens and oranges, peaches, and pinks. It just makes it so fresh for summer. And like I told you before, when we made the spring wreath on the hula hoop, we're going to reuse this hula hoop all the way till fall. And just like that, you guys, you have this beautiful, beautiful wreath made out of flowers and greenery. Let me cut the excess of those zip ties. So thumbs up, you guys, if you like this idea. It is super pretty and super fresh looking and I absolutely love it. I hope you do too. As you guys can see, creating this beautiful hula hoop summer wreath, it is super easy and very affordable. You guys, it was just a few steps and my favorite secret right now is the zip ties because you will be able to reuse all of this. Now, if you haven't seen the matching centerpiece and this bedside table arrangements, I'm gonna link them up right now so you can check them out. They're also just as beautiful and you will be able to follow the instructions to make a cohesive look this summer in your home. All right, you guys, well, that's all I have for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and let me know which wreath was your favorite, this one or spring. And if you haven't seen, you can check it out right now. Until next time, bye.